Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Morrowind. I'm currently running the Newell to pick up some things. Um, while adventuring, I got a new shield. It's a Tatric shield. So that's pretty great. Ooh, pardon me. Sarah got me such a nice new phone. I can just set it face down and the phone will be like, alright, shutting up. And it's off. It's kind of great. So yeah, I just happened to get a Tadric Tower Shield. I believe it's because I was fighting and looting a bunch of gold saints. Because naturally around a Daedric Shrine, there's a whole bunch of Daedra. So I'm starting to tune my character a little more. We've gotten to a turning point in the world. I'm immune to every disease, so I can safely explore a lot more places without risking my health by having something mundane happen to me, like getting cold and not being healthy enough to get through a certain area. And that's great. I'm now strong enough to fight certain things like Atronox and other Daedra. Which is also great. Um, and I'm starting to hit level... I'm starting to get to level 20, yeah. Because I'm nearly at level 17, and... 20 is a good place to be, man. I can't remember if the level scaling goes forever in this game or not. But if it does, uh, we'll be in a good place for the DLC. I feel good to be recording this. Um, it's actually making my voice feel a little better to use it without raising my voice a whole lot. I do still have to be gentle of my voice. Oh, jeez. I dropped a whole bunch of my weapons as well because they were really just weighing me down. Need to specialize a little more. I do still have um, a mundane short sword, an enchanted long sword, an enchanted blunt weapon, and another long sword, actually. I could stand to get rid of that. I'll sell one of them, though. But yes, you may be able to hear a little bit more of a growl in my voice. It's because I'm sick. And uh, partially because of my own ignorance, there's quite a little, it's quite a slip over the, what's supposed to be coming out. Um, getting sick meant that I couldn't record my Attack on Titan podcast. And for those who aren't watching, 38 Good Advice and Big uh, is my Attack on Titan Riri podcast. Oh, though I've only recorded the first chapter. Actually, I've recorded the second chapter, but I haven't uploaded it yet because I want to record the third chapter first. There you go. But I've only uploaded as far as the first chapter. Which does include... Um, get a little sleep in. There we go. Hour long nap. But yeah, um, my Attack on Titan podcast currently consists of the prototype chapter. You know, the unofficial chapter zero that isn't canon. Um, just a little overview of me for people who are new. And then um, the first chapter. But I'm still working on getting more things. But yeah, I haven't been able to record it because I've either been busy or... That's two pounds just for fashion. I'll leave that behind. Or two units, rather. I was about to say, who's ever heard of a two pound shirt? I have, having worn a 40 pound shirt. So I'm heading to cool. That's what this is called, right? Cool, yeah. There's an item here I wish to procure. 
So yeah, last time I got that uh, Daedric helmet, and it's cool. You know, it's the strongest helmet in the game, but I think it looks like shit. I kind of hate it, but I kind of need it because it's the best helmet in the game. Ooh, Ash Zombie. Looks like. Ash Slave, specifically. Eh. Oh, hello. You know, actually, you can't get me sick anymore, so this might be a good place for me to just... Hands off and grind. Because that's the thing about having a level system like this. You kind of incentivize players to do dumb things to raise their skill more. Like, in Skyrim, the best way to level alteration is just use telekinesis to hold a bucket or some other random item found outside, and then wait. There's a bunch more um, exploits that you can do just completely normally, but in this game, yeah. A lot of uh, great ways to level something is to, like, force somebody to cast a spell on you that you're immune to. And then do that over and over again. But I don't actually need to. Come on. He's right in front of you. Jeez. Where's my skill at? Blunt weapon is 48. So there's a 14 point difference between short blade and blunt weapon. And then there's another 6 point difference between that and long blade. And then my axe, spear, and um, marksman scale are all miserable. I kind of regret putting points into those now. I don't think there's a way that I can change it in-game. But, like, my logic was I wanted to pick a character that's completely mundane, but there were other mundane skills that I could have gone with. I could have gone with hand-to-hand -hand or unarmored. Um, so I can still fight whenever I don't have weapons or armor. And um, tagging unarmored and getting the extra points in it can make the early game a little easier. Because you uh, aren't taking as much damage for that period of time where you're just in Morrowind with like a butter knife in your pants. Because it's a very real and very scary part of the game. Morrowind has one of the roughest early game hells like ever. Yeah, we're heading to cool because there's a thing here that I want. Whatever. I'm just thirsty, you know? Why are you here? Yeah, there's enemies in here, fam. I just came in here to rest away from the wildlife. Damn, guess I can't. Alright, gotta head way more west for cool. There's a thing that I wanted to talk about. Um, in Morrowind, there's a lot of items that I think just look fucking stupid. And I respect them for that. I was thinking about how in Dragon Age, and to a lesser extent in Skyrim, almost every armor piece, to an extent looks sweet, quote-unquote, you know? Like, it looks cool. Like, you could put it on the box art. Dark Souls also suffers from this, but it usually has a few pieces of armor that just look, like, really stupid. And some of them are still great besides. Like, Smo's armor makes you look like you have a big fat gut and a really long neck and a, like, triple chin. Because it's meant to look 
it's armor worn by a glutton. It's meant to make him look like a fat guy and embarrass him for his, you know, gluttonous nature. Primarily because he's a cannibal and he's not supposed to eat those things, but, you know, he's not well liked for other reasons. Um, or like the Katarina set makes you look like a big fat onion, but it's amazing armor. So, you know, and there's this thing where like in Morrowind, sometimes the armor looks dumb because it's functional, you know, like in the case of the helmet I'm wearing, which by the way, no reverend points out that it's a fantastic helm misnamed though it may be. Um, it appears to be a skull of some mammal. Probably an actual bear. Which would actually make a lot of sense. God damn it. Oh, that's so expensive. I can't do that. I'll drink these. I need the health. Uh, it appears to be the skull of a bear that was then enchanted, maybe even dipped in metal. All right. Eber Dodd is where we're trying to head. See, so yeah, I feel very lucky for having gotten a Daedric shield. What does light do? Does it just make me glow? Oh. It was poisoned. <laughs> These things are not worth my time to carry. One, value one, whatever. Oh, that's cute. They kind of went in a little stack. That's funny. We're looking for an area called Eberdad. I think draw wax will sell pretty well. No idea how to say that. Part of the thing is that because this game has such little voice acting, sometimes you're just not clear on how you're supposed to say things. Maybe I gotta swim around here a little more. My PC is trying to take off. I'm not sure why. I think it's because it's full of things. For whatever reason, I've discovered a very annoying feature of my laptop. Whenever I make a video, it saves a copy of every single file used in that video. So that is something that is a serious problem when I'm trying to edit my Morrowind videos. Because it means that every single thing that happens in any Morrowind... Like, because Morrowind is not small by any means. It's in fact massive. And so it becomes a very significant problem. Holy shit. How about you have the fire that is still very expensive? I'll sell it to him at a loss. Just get it out of my inventory. You buy scrolls as well, huh? Uh, I'll keep that, I guess. Gem feeder, I'll need that. Seal, I don't want to block things. Scroll of healing, I'll keep it, I guess. Hellfire, unlocking, blood fire, whatever. Cure disease, as if. Calm creature, meh. Lock splitter, but 100 point lock, wow. Oh, right. You don't have any money, do you? 
I'll buy these off you, huh? Um... I think they... I'll take some of these back then. Oh, maybe I can get rid of more weapons. Oh, this will work. Nice. Speak up. You like to walk a fine line, don't you? You know, people always tell me that, and I don't really know what they mean. You do? You're an assassin. Cool. Fine by me. All right, Eberdad. Not far from... Hmm. Oh, I actually haven't been in there. Not far from Ushrulaku. Ah, oh, I was just over there, though. I've got to head, like, here. I'll be right back. Alright, so I made a quick stop in Aldrin. Let me check my map, actually. Where is... I think Mangar might be the best place to go. It's only 12... <laughs> I think they're still dealing with the uh, war I left them with. Okay, if I just head north until I hit your Shulaku camp, I should be good. See, so yeah, I sold a whole bunch of my stuff because they were kind of weighing me down. Um, I'm not really sure what all I can do to limit my weight anymore. Because, like, this is 45 pounds. 45 units, I should say. This is... That's only 10. Yeah, these are all heavy. There's only so much that I can really do to, you know, limit how much I'm carrying around. Oh yeah, I also paid to have um, a bunch of my skills up. You can see that uh, I'm doing pretty well for myself. So, you know, there's that. Alright, getting into the Ashlands. Heading to Eberdad. The reason I'm here is because I won an item. Um, I'm starting to check the wiki a little more often and build my character the way I really want it to be. The fact that that doesn't kill you in one is a miserable, miserable fact. Can I rest? Damn. I'm just working my way north through the Ashlands. Uh, so yes, this is another filler episode, partially also because um, I'm doing so many more ones back to back. Um, and partially because I want to make sure that I can hit the main quest again, like, refreshed. Because when I do, I'm going to be in quite a state. Like, I'll have gone up like five or six levels. By enemies, they of course mean minor, minor annoyances. Yes. 17, life isn't over. You can get stronger or cleverer, smarter or cleverer, or more experienced or meaner, but your body and soul aren't going to get any younger. Five strength. Speed. And endurance. 
18. The challenge now is to stay at the peak as long as you can. You may be strong today as any as strong today as any mortal who has ever walked the earth, but there's always someone younger, a new challenger. Right. First time I haven't put anything into the into there. I feel like that should be higher. Whatever. My strength is nearly hitting the cap, as you can see. I thought it happened at 20. 20 is usually, like, where a lot of RPGs just stop. And I've only got three uh, ranks to get to get to the next level. You can see also that things like this are why they made it so you can only get so many levels bought before you have to do something like advance a quest or level up uh, completely. Hmm. Yeah, I'm here. Looking at cool. There's cool. Here's Eberdet. Wow, it's really close to the coast, actually. Well, that's good, because that means I'm heading in the right direction. Yeah, on the one hand, back on the topic of armor. Um... On the one hand, it is, like, nice where every single set feels really fucking cool to wear. And you feel like a cool guy wearing it. That's good, you know, on the one hand. But then it can also lead to problems. Like, if you make every set cool, then sometimes a weaker set is cooler than a stronger one. And it's like, well, hey, what's the, what's the point then? Why bother wearing the later sets? The point is for better stats. So by making armor that's very dumb yet functional... Hey, my acrobatics leveled up. Definitely takes the, s the sting out of my ankle bones. Back in the western gash. Huh. Oh, well. It's a little foggy over there, isn't it, fellas? A lot of kryptonite in the air tonight. But yeah, some people go the route of, like, making all the early game sets really, like, dumb looking, but very functional. Like, if you think about how dorky something like the default armor set for, like, the warrior is in Dark Souls 1. It looks silly, but it's very functional and it works. And this has the odd uh, implication of making later game sets that should be strong, that are stronger mathematically. Somehow should be weaker logically. You know I'm wearing, like, the crown of a god? Like, it's at this point where you really stop thinking... You should really consider it a little more, at least. I'll take the arrows. One thing that's nice about arrows in the games is that they're always a very light weight. And so they can be used for uh, a thing to barter with when coins won't do. Yeah, we're also getting to the point where it's almost pointless to loot things because I will obviously have better things than them. Like, the last good item I looted was probably that shield and I got it off of a golden saint. I will only get good things off of Daedra from this point on. 
Gotta be more this way. Man, I just must have missed Eberdad last time I was like over here because I'm I was not very far from here. Man. I've had this discussion with my wife where like, yes, I love Morrowind and I like playing Morrowind. And yes, I love Skyrim and I like playing that. And I will play them again. But I don't want to. What I want is Elder Scrolls 6. Ah, well. Hey, I'm back. So, yeah, we're back here at this derelict shipwreck. I would have known that such a powerful item lay literally up the road from here. I don't think I would have spent as much time in the ship, suffice to say. So my block skill is getting pretty up there. You can see that it's actually at a 56, one of my highest skills. Anything above 50 is something I, you know, pretty much use. I think I would need to use console commands to swap out my 20s for something that I actually use, because you can see that acrobatics is 50. Athletics is 37. My armor or repair skills could be. I could be getting things off of that. Which just goes to show you the importance of building a good fucking character in this game. But, you know, that's the problem of, like, having RPGs like this. You need to predict what you will use. And I've played this game in the past, which helps me immensely, but... It is not so easy when you don't actually have knowledge of a game. It's like, hey, this game you never played, and you don't know if you like it or not? Figure out what you will like about this game. Build your character for that. Keep dad. Dead scamp. Just a crappy iron short sword. Gemstones. I really like how these are barely here. Well, that's cool, though. What if there's one in here? There is. That probably means that there's only one gemstone model. Do I? You will, die. will I, though? What's that sword you've got? It looks kind of interesting. Steel crossbow, a silver shard blade. It's so freakish how the scamps have such a human like cry, you know? Like, what if you caught a Pokemon and it was like, hello? And everyone would be like, ooh, a new Pokemon. It must be called a hello. And it ain't. Disease resistance, huh? Why would you step into my range? Ooh, what if I help? Expensive robe. Sorry, I stripped you nude, but you killed me. I attempted to. I killed you, actually. Shock resistance. This is an interesting book. So you can see that it's written in nonsense. That is, in fact... Um... The book is uh, nothing but the Bethesda forums, like, how do I put this? Terms and conditions, I think. Oh, a day drop. So this guy's confusing. Because sometimes people use day as the plural of Daedra. 
After all these years of searching, I'm sure I've located the caverns. The crystals are just as the stories describe. Wrapped in crystalline embrace, the silver-pierced brow of the traitor shall ward his sleep. This must be the place, this must be Mordred Hannon's tomb. Madama and I have established quarters here. No one shall steal my discovery. To imagine what treasures are hidden within these stones. Those guild fools mocking my studies. The powers I shall unleash on their miserable skins. Tomorrow we shall summon workers to begin excavation. The summoning was successful, though Batama lacks concentration. We nearly had a poor uh, storm astronaut, but our poor skills allowed it to escape. We shall make do with vermin. To think of the earth we could have riven with the astronaut. Now we're forced to watch the scamps scrape the surface with picks and shovels. Hideous and miserable creatures. Otherworldly vermin bastards. Fodder for my cauldron. Scamps are the most untrue of servants. I should enlist the efforts of giant rats of the wilderness and have better success. Whining, th thieving, lazy, and treacherous. Scamps. One attempted to flee, stealing a number of potions in this flight. I made short work of him. Perhaps others will think deeply before following this path. Unfortunately, I was un unable to locate one of my best potions of rising course. Success. I discovered the traces of work stone, which when inspected closely, were obviously of Daedric workmanship. After great effort and moving, much moving of earth and stone, the remaining blockage fell away with a great splash into a pool of loathsome water. The foul and noisome air, which escaped nearly choked me, the scamps broke into a frenzy, trying to hurl them themselves through the opening, shrieking with either terror or joy. The creatures are clearly insane. I've been forced to erect a gate at the opening. The scamps still attempt to escape into its maw. I've placed Badama a sentry to monitor the worthless creatures. Perhaps they'll tear her to pieces in her sleep. No, I still require her talents in the oncoming search. The baleful effects in this place are telling on me. I've only just managed to distill some potions to aid us in our endeavor. Soon, though, we will enter the chambers and realize a life's ambition. Still, though we find the tomb, it may be not if we cannot locate the key guardian. Sometimes I hear voices in my dreams calling Morden's name. Is it terror or adulation? All right, thank you. And that's a real thing that can happen about the terrible splash in the air. Um, sometimes air will be trapped underneath water and water tension will be the only thing holding it in. Oh, this is eerie. And so what can happen is people can... There we go. Oh, here we go. Hmm. Oh, they swimming, huh? Anyway, basically, you unleash the gases when you hit the water in any way, which releases the gas and can be very dangerous and noxious. Please stop hitting me. Please. Questing through Eber Dad. Okay. Long swords do a little more damage. They should at least. What is this? Yeah, it does more damage. Cool. My medium armor is now 60. Nice. Nice. 
Scheiße. Ebony Staff. Poggies. All right. More strength, some agility. You're really good, maybe the best, and that's why it's hard to get better. But you keep trying, because that's the way you are. More speed. So ebony is one of the best uh, crafting ingredients in the game. And so naturally an ebony staff is something really solid. I can get a lot of stuff done with this thing. No wonder he was kicking my ass as well. Golden Saint, let's party. It's also worth mentioning that the gear known as Daedric is actually just enchanted ebony gear. Not necessarily enchanted in the sense that you take it to like a table or a mage, but it's ebony gear that has been given... Oh my god, even better! I don't want a two-handed thing, because I have shields. So yeah, this is an ebony shield, and it has 104 armor rating. This is a Daedric shield, and it has 138. Ow, oh, and I'm too heavy. Uh, let me find a good unhinging spell or unlocking. Will this work? I don't think it will. There we go. So, Ancient Silver Dagger, a lot of good stuff here. So, Daedric War Axe. Heart Wall. What is that? It's not as strong as my Orcish Queer Ass, but it looks cool. So, a Daedric War Axe enchanted with all the fixins is what is a what makes the strongest thing in the entire game. Did I get cursed? Yeah, something's dropping my strength. I hate it when that happens. There are a few things in this game. Yoink. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, more like amazingly enchanted daggers. These are ancient silver daggers, which aren't that much better than the normal. And atop it is another Daedric Staff. And the 36 Lessons of Vivek, which I will read at some point. So another Daedric Shield here, and the Daedric Face of Inspiration. So yeah, pretty scary. You can see that it looks a lot like it's um, it looks a lot like the Mask of Clavicus Vile, which makes sense because, oh, unlocking things, that's cool. Let's go back to my normal probes and lockpicks here.
There we go. Money, cool. Should I drop this and swap it out for something else? It's 24 pounds versus the 26 and a half, or units rather. This thing's really heavy. If I drop it, I go down quite a bit. Let's drop that instead. And take this because it's a little lighter. See, so yeah, I believe there are more crypts down here. Uh because I didn't find the thing that I came here looking for. I found one of the best helmets in the game, but... I already have the best helmet in the game. So it's a little less helpful, isn't it? Right. Didn't I just have more carry weight? Really? An Aedric Daedric Key? Don't mind if I do, huh? Yeah, this kind of dungeon design is something that I don't think you would see in Skyrim. I feel like the devs of Bethesda kind of, like, were more focused on ensuring the player would see everything and beat the game. Drink one of, one of these. Here we go. Which is, I feel like, another factor that people don't really appreciate in some of the games. Oh, this shortcut's back to here. That's kind of cool. That means that if you're, if you come in here with a flight potion, you can actually just, like, slingshot over here. Let me find our, fly around and look at things. I do like that. I do like that helmet. I'm not sure if it's better. Pardon me, what was that? Oh, it's the breath. Is there something up here? No. Okay. Load that. Thank you. Hey, so uh, the thing I'm looking for is that. Oop. There we go. So, um, I know that this is very expensive, but there's very few people that could afford it anyway. And what we're here for is this. Edlidion's Ward. It's one of the hugest shields in the game. And it has an enchantment on it that can restore your health a hundred points. We only have a hundred and fifty-six. So, this might never come off again, <laughs> is what I'm saying. I think I'm going to double down on swords, and I'm only going to swap for better swords as well. Blunt weapons are good. 
but I am using blades more. So I'm gonna stick I'm gonna stick to those. But yeah, that's what I came in here for. That was the point of this little jaunt, so I guess I could end the episode. So, um... Is there really a point to me doing a joke like that? I mean... As though you couldn't tell by the runtime of the video that there's going to be a whole lot more. All right. Now I need to get south. Oh, God, I think I got to go to Vivek. Damn it. All right. Made a quick uh, adjustment. I was planning on getting one of the legendary males in this game, but both of them are involved in a quest line. Something I forgot about. Most of the Daedra quests you can stumble into, sometimes even accidentally. Which is the way that I like it, but that's not all the case for all of them. So, we're gonna have to go somewhere different for what I want. So, where are we heading? Either Ebonart... Or... Hlaod. La Oad is Ooh, it's south. Oh boy, it's south. Okay. Let's try to get to Belmora. I'll take on. Balmora, please. Thank you. And then we're heading this way. Actually, we should... <laughs> I love just the sound of punching a side of beef. We should stop in here and sell some of our goodies off. Ravier, can you get this shit out of my inventory, please? You don't buy crack pipes? Do you buy crack? You do. Oh, it gives, man. Oh, wow, those are expensive. Give me one back. Let's see if we can buy something good off of you. See, the issue with buying things like this off of you is that, like, they're not amazing anymore. They're only good early game. Give me some of these back. Because I can take those to someone else and they'll buy it off of me. Um. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, that's better. Take that back, I guess. And that? Yeah, that's really good. Now, can I hack you up to six? 
Yeah, I can. Thank you, sir. I'll, um... I'll be on my way then. Thank you, good day. So, I was also reminded of the fact that I can't get my... I don't think I can get the sword that I really want until uh, the DLC. And I could run to the DLC and get it, but I, I'm trying to take this game kind of as you're supposed to. Which is one reason why I'm actually getting off topic and doing some other things. Because I feel like, yes, you are supposed to get stuck in and go do things. Um, brute forcing the main quest is... I don't know if it's really intended, you know? It's also nice to essentially just, like, take a vacation from my, uh, you know, problem-solving crime-fighting days. I don't really know that I fight crime, to be perfectly honest. You know, I kind of want a new keyboard. Robert has one, my friend. It is nice. Is so, where are you from? All right. Hlaod. Which should be over here, right? It's north of Sidonie. Let me check my map again. Uh, yes. This is the Odai River. That's the river that goes through Balmora. Hlaod is on it. On the north side of it, in fact. I love this game, man. I love comparing maps. I love feeling like I'm actually doing a big old adventure, you know? It's one reason why I don't really hate the fact that you can't quick travel everywhere. Because it means that you, you get something out of this, you know? And I feel like that's cool. Because um, Skyrim is obviously a lot, a lot easier for me to play. Because my brain doesn't have to work as hard for it. Because I can just chase the markers you put down, or use clairvoyance and follow that path. Or quick travel everywhere, or pay someone a pittance of gold and have them take me somewhere. But in here, like, I feel like I'm doing it, man. I'm doing something. And I love that. Fucking love this game. Hello, Odd. What is this about? Here we are. All right. So where are we heading from here? We are northwest. Okay, we're going northwest from here. So I'm actually pointing in the right direction. We're doing another danger quest for anyone who knows this game. This is actually one of the um, ones that is uh, interesting to... It's it's something of a problem. Um, so yeah. Again, we can point out how easy it is to tell that this is Daedric, you know? Because now we can start to recognize these cool architectural things as a Daedric choice. This is how Daedra make things. And of course, we can also see by the multitude of Daedra... What's that, my friend? I want it. Storm Sword, go. Take that. Now, what do you have on you? Ebony Broadsword. Oh. 
I'll probably need that. And you know what? What the hell? Alright. This might end up being my new main, like, go-to... Like, slicer and weapon. I should have made this a main skill. And what would you have there, my friend? You know, has it, has it occurred to you, Chowderheads, that I might be on your side? You got my friend. Dejic Tonto. Let's actually let's drop the broadsword and let's put the Tonto on now. Yeah, look at that thing. I'm Ushug Gra Oloruba. Oluruba. Cartag Point, famous for orcs. I'm an agent at work for a house or company. Yada yada yada. So we're here to go talk to a Daedric prince, naturally. Boethia, one of my favorites. Member of Morrowind's tribunal. The real tribunal, not the fake one. But um Morrowind, as you know, very, very volcanically active. And if something is volcanically active, that often means that it is also tectonically active. And this used to be a big shrine for Boethia, and you can kind of see in the distance there. More stuff. I've just got to fight these minnows off. it. This used to be a big-ass shrine to Boethia, and it sunk in the ocean. It probably even slid off from where it was. God, look how eerie that looks. It's a little Atlantis off the port of, uh, off one of the ports of Morrowind. And just, like, how strange is that? That Hla'od, this rando village is next to not only a Daedric Shrine, but a Daedric Shrine that, like, snapped in half. One half slid down, and the other, like, came all the way over here. And you can even see, that's the statue. Oh, gotta get some air. We're good. So I don't know if the Druid are a form of Daedra or not, but... So, what do you got to say, sir? What do you want with me, mortal? My shrine is in ruins. My priests are coming. When you rebuild my shrine, mortal, restore it in all its glory. Accomplish this. So, you can find out about this quest not just from accidentally bumbling into this thing and then swimming, you know, a fucking country mile off the coast of it. But you can also find Mike the Liar, who you will recognize from other Elder Scrolls because he's in every one of them now. And then he's like, hey, go to Caldera. To help me find the one who can recreate the shrine. So 
So we're heading to Caldera next. So I know this because I checked the Wikipedia article, but we actually need to go to Vivek. We need to, in fact, go back to Jobash's rare books and buy a copy of Boethius Glory. Um, Boethius Glory is a book that's appeared in a couple of these games, but it basically describes Boethius enough that a sculptor could make him. And as evidenced by the riddle that Boethius told us, we need a sculptor to make a new statue of Boethia so people can come back to the Daedric site and worship. The Daedric sites in Morrowind... I, I've already talked about how much I love the architecture of Morrowind. And how, like... That we can identify parts of the architecture and be like, wow, look at that. Because, like, with Skyrim, I've bitched about this in the past, but... Dwemer civilization pieces are underground and you don't get to see their buildings. You just get to see their construction underground. Um, Daedric shrines are brutally, brutally efficient and simple. They are usually just a slab of rock and a statue. And that's kind of fair, to be perfectly frank. Um... Because you could argue that Skyrim is such an efficient place that, like... Like, Skyrim is a harsh land, but then again, so is Morrowind. So, I don't really know who's in the wrong here. There's a thing where, um, I've noticed that the text... The, the models in Morrowind are not, like, more detailed, but they have... More detail of a style, even though the models themselves are not as high resolution. Um, and I'm not sure what to make of that exactly. All right. From there, we can get... One of these days, I need to find, like, a good, like, regeneration spell. I need to make one. The spell making in this game is particularly robust. And what I really want to do is make a spell that'll just make me regenerate health very slowly over the course of, like, an hour. And then cast it and let something very weak beat on me. All right. Travel to Vivek for 20 gold pieces. Thank you. We need to get it back to Jobasha's rare books, for God's sakes. For all the good it'll do me. Back in town. Look upon the face of Buithi and wonder. Raise your arms that Buithi might look on them and bestow a blessing. Know that battle is a blessing. Death is an eventuality. You're the you are dust in the eyes of Buithia. Long as the arm of Buithi and swift as the blade. Deep is the cut and subtle the poison. Worship of faithful, pray your death is short. Worship of faithful, pray that death is quiet. Worship the glory that is Buithia. And then a drawing of the thing into battle strides the Daedric Prince. Blade of the ready, cleave the unworthy. I stole it because fuck that guy. I also murdered somebody while I was here. Now I just need to find my way back out and then presumably pay a Silt Strider to get me somewhere to the hell else. So I'll do that. So uh, I actually need to completely reschedule. Um, my wife just dropped in. Surprise! It's a surprise visit! And I'm very happy to see her, so I need to record the rest of this later. Bye! Bye!